merely left something for you. I don't have need for it anymore. What does it feel like being framed up for something? It can be quite painful and difficult to deal with. Keep your hands where I can see him, Barry. Barry Allen, you're under arrest for the murder of Clifford DeVoe. Well, things can end pretty badly when that happens. Framing up a person may not be good enough to describe today's presentation, but in fact, framing objects may be a perfect analogy. You see, frames are made by adding a material layer to the existing object. It is done to protect them from damage or to improve their external appearance. This is very common with large photos or paintings, after which we hang them up on the wall. On Ethernet-based networks, a given unit of data can be framed by adding a header in front of the data and a trailer behind it, following a process known as encapsulation. The resulting protocol data unit after adding this layer of information is called an Ethernet frame. Today, we'll talk about the content of the frame header and trailer and how this Ethernet frame is formed and processed on a computer network. Hello guys, today we'll talk about the Ethernet frame. We know that in order to create an Ethernet frame, we attach a frame header and trailer to the data. But where is this data obtained from? The TCP IP protocol suite can be divided into upper layer and lower layer protocols. Upper layers deal with the logical forwarding and delivery of data between end stations. And the lower layers deal with the physical forwarding of data on the physical network. In most cases, when the upper layers have finished processing, a protocol data unit called a packet is released from the network layer into the lower layer where Ethernet resides. This frame is created as follows. First of all, Ethernet defines what type of packet it is framing by assigning a type value to the packet. This type value is what Ethernet uses to know the upper layer protocol to which the packet belongs. Next up, it adds the MAC address of the interface from which it wishes to send the frame in the source MAC address field. Then, it specifies the MAC address of the device meant to receive this frame in the destination MAC address field. This destination MAC address can be unicast, multicast, or broadcast. All of this information is added in the various fields provided in the Ethernet frame header. There are two common types of frame headers used in Ethernet frames, Ethernet 2 and the IEEE 802.3 frame header. This is the Ethernet 2 frame header, and the latter will be discussed in future presentations. Finally, Ethernet performs a calculation on the frame header and data based on their structure in order to generate a value called the cyclic redundancy checksum. This value is added to the frame in a field called the frame check sequence and it is used to check the frame's integrity. That is, to ensure that the frame was never changed, modified or tampered with during transmission. In order to send this Ethernet frame, one more field is added. It is called the preamble. This field is not included when describing the size of this frame. It is only used to notify the receiver of an incoming frame. Ethernet frames are sent as bit streams over the physical wire through signaling and the bits representing the preamble are received first and used for clock synchronization before receiving other parts of the frame. This is actually how signals are transmitted and not like the point signals used in previous presentations. Upon receiving the entire frame, the receiver checks the destination MAC address field to ensure that the frame is destined for itself and then generates its own CRC based on the received header and data. If the destination MAC address and CRC contained in the received frame matches its interface MAC address and generated CRC respectively, this packet is sent to the upper layer and further processed based on the type field in the header. 
otherwise it discards the frame. Check out the questions on the next slide. Up next, we'll describe the size of the Ethernet frame and the concept of late collisions and run frames. Please like, subscribe to this channel and share. Thank you for watching.